Aboga is a plant found in Central West Africa in Gabon. Uh, but there is, of course, an African context of use, a sacred culture around Ibogaine that existed for centuries and possibly for millennia among the pygmies um, around the use of Ibogaine. So the root bark has been used as a sacrament in, um, in Gabon for thousands of years. Um, it's the second layer of the root bark that is the potent, potent part of it. It is um, a powerful, powerful visionary sacrament. Some would say a psychedelic, some would say hallucinogen. I would not, I would say it's a visual plant. It's a plant that aids in healing. Um, it's used as the essential or the main sacrament of the Bwiti. Uh, the Bwiti is a spirituality that grew up around the ingestion of aboga and the pharmacopoeia of the forest. You know, aboga is, in Africa is not used, in Gabon it's not used for addiction because they're really, it's not heroin, there's not cocaine or not much. Ibogaine is not used for addiction commonly in Africa. Um, however, it has been used for medical purposes. Um, Ibogaine was uh, used, for example, as for some somatic conditions, particularly for infertility, uh, which in the colonial era was often related, related to venereal disease, and there's so basically a, a, a nexus between politics and health in this case. Ibogaine is a psychedelic drug that puts its users on a three-day trip. It's illegal in the U.S., and no one knows if it really works. It took me from 1984 to 1991 through the leadership of three different directors of the National Institute on Drug Abuse to finally get them to take a serious look at Ibogaine. Now imagine that you are a doctor. You spend 12 years getting your education. You spend 15 years in the field becoming an expert. And then uh, the last thing you're going to want to hear is some former heroin addict went and discovered the, the effective medication that you're looking for. Aboga healed me from drug addiction. I was a 20-year drug addict. I was injecting cocaine and heroin. I was on methadone. I could not stop. With one treatment of Aboga, 11 years ago, I stopped my addiction to heroin, cocaine, and methadone. What's special about Ibogaine is it can reverse addiction. I mean, we can take an active heroin addict, an active cocaine addict, somebody with a completely runaway addiction syndrome, and bring them into a hospital, yes, if we were doing it, or into an apartment, or into a Bwiti chapel, and give them Ibogaine, or Iboga, or Iboga extracts, and completely reverse that addiction syndrome, literally turning an addict into a non-addict over a two to three day period. And that's simply unseen. Uh, abandonment, I've seen people really come to grips with eating disorders, uh, body image, um, it's an incredible tool for healing, for healing the wounds that we inflict on each other and ourselves. Of its other known value as a psychotherapeutic drug, as a drug to be used in psychotherapy, I don't think that it has an equal. I think Ibogaine is the most dramatic drug to, that can be used in psychotherapy. It just allows a complete review by the individual of the issues they consider most important to themselves. We all know the questions we have to ask, and we all know the answers, and Ibogaine precipitates that discussion.